Greetings, fellow wisdom seekers, to another episode of the Lily Lectures, your go-to podcast for celestial wisdom and guidance from the pages of my book, Christian Astrology. I am your guide, William Lilly, and today we're exploring the intriguing world of astrology to help you determine whether that short journey you're contemplating is favorable or not. So sit back and let the stars be your guide. If you wish to determine whether it is favorable for you to go on a short journey, typically within a distance of 20, 30, or 40 miles that can be completed in a day or the next day, consider the following guidelines. Look at the motion and position of the Lord of the Ascendant. If it is moving swiftly or slowly, or if it is in a dignified position of the Lord of the Third House, or placed in the Third House itself, or forming beneficial aspects, sextile, trine, or conjunction with the Lord of the Third House, or a benevolent planet in the Third House, it indicates that the journey will likely be favorable for you. Examine the position and aspects of the Moon. If the Moon is applying to the Lord of the Third House, or any planet in the Third House, or if it is located in the Third House itself, or if it forms a sextile aspect with the rising sign or a square aspect in signs of short ascension, these would be Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and Leo. These are positive indications for a successful journey. If any of these conditions are met, it suggests that you should proceed with the short journey and it is likely to bring good results. To determine the direction of the journey, consider the sign of the third house, the sign in which the Lord of the third house is located, and the sign in which the moon is located. Judge which of these significators is strongest in essential dignities where it is placed. For example, if the primary significator is in a northern sign, it suggests that the journey is intended to the north. Apply similar principles for other directions, taking into account their respective limitations. And there you have it, a celestial roadmap for determining whether your short journey and the direction you should take is favorable. Remember, the stars have a unique language, and by understanding it, you can align yourself with the cosmic energies for a smoother journey. That's all for today's episode of the Lily Lectures. If you enjoyed this journey through the pages of Christian Astrology, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, may the stars guide you on your path. I am William Lilly, and this is Christian Astrology.